There's Lime Hall. This is how they will be lining up. And they'll be playing with a 4-3-3. Jaheim Williams is between the six. Gavin Harrison, the experienced centre-back, comes into the starting lineup with the man who will missing. Darius Stewart, the most talented midfielder, is there as well. Carlos Campbell, Jimoy Jones, Devontae Redmond, Marlon Pennycook, their player to watch. Look for him in the wide areas. A very direct, strong forward. Sajay Anderson has already scored this season. The creative element of Corey Mendez is good, and he will link up well with Damani Miller. And, of course, Corey Hilton, who scored last time out in their 6-2 loss at the hands of Vier United. They are coached by Hopeton Gilchrist, who we haven't seen yet. Yeah, I haven't seen him so far here, and hopefully... Lime Hall can perform without his presence. My Lions, they sit in 12, comfortable at this point on 17 points, and they're starting 11. The big miss is that there is no Jason Wright, their leading goal scorer and captain. Peter Harrison, Sergini Frankson, Dane Samuels, Cleon Pusey, Tyreek Wilson, Dennis Nelson, the ever present midfielder, their number seven. Uh, Javon Brown, who will wear the captain's armband this time out. And Daniel Hardy, Johnny Fleming is the player to watch. And Devon Davis comes into the starting lineup. They are coached, of course, by Jeremy and Thomas. Not too many changes in this Malines lineup, but yeah. The full match highlights of Keita Nicholson, FIFA official, the man in charge. And Malines driving forward. Tyreek Wilson from distance. Jaheim Williams was way off his line and actually gave up on the play. Malines had most of the attacking play coming forward. Daniel Hardy on this occasion driving in, striking, but over the top. And they would have been disappointed that they didn't find a goal in that first half, Malines. This, a very good delivery into the area from Dario Stewart along the six yard line. And an orange shirt should have been at the end of that Carlos Campbell and company. Not to be, and it remained nil all. Javon Brown cutting on to his favorite left foot, stung the palms of. Jaheim Williams, who had some really good saves in this match at one point, was a pick for man of the match. Lime Hall, they got it into the back of the net, but illegally. Off the hand, and Okita Nicholson was right on point. It was a very good call from the central referee to thwart that goal. And it would go into the half, nil all. Then this moment, a deflection off the back of Samuels and Corey Hilton, two goals in two matches for the number 47. Just a slight deflection, but I dare say Peter Harrison, with his quality, will figure that he should have done better. Lots of power behind the strike, but yeah, against the run of play, they were ahead. Then this moment, a bit controversial at first. Dennis was fouled. The ball went into the goal. Initially, Okita Nicholson gave the goal, but his whistle blew before the ball crossed the line. So he had to call it back for a penalty. Maybe should have wait, waited a little to see. And guess what? Jeremy Nelson missed from the spot. Saved by Jaheim Williams. And the score remained at 1-0 up to that point. But Malines, they didn't give up. They kept coming forward. And Cleon Pusey would put this on a dime for Shamara Dennis. Dennis with his first of the season. And Malines we're all square after 75 minutes. Lots of expression coming from the Lime Paul defenders, and we do apologize for that coming through the microphones. But wow, what a moment it was for my lines, and they continued to come forward. But Dean Samuel should have taken that for himself there, the center back. Tried to play it across the goal, but that was difficult. Nelson thought the same. That Samuel should have taken the strike. It was not to be then. Substitute Duncan getting into the air, providing this. And it was off the hand, outstretched hand from the Lime Hall defender in Harrison. Penalty, and this time, even though Jaheim Williams went the right way, he couldn't stop that. From Jeremy Nelson, his fourth of the season, Jeremy Nelson and Malines with a big three points. 2 1 after 90 minutes. The second half was a lot more lively than the first. And Lime Hall, just the three shots, two on target. Look at that from a line. 16 shots, seven on target, and two goals to show for it. A busy day for Keita Nicholson. Got most of the calls right. Eventually, 21 fouls in it and four yellow cards shown. He kept all 22 players on the park, though. Majority of the position for Malines at 58%. And they had so many corners 
11 of them as well compared to just Lime Hall's four. Big three points here at the Waterhouse Mini Stadium. It ends Malines two, Lime Hall one. Lichey Williams is with our man of the match, and it's no other than Shamaro Dennis, their number 33. Yeah, Shamara Dennis, today's man of the match. It was a really good performance from you as you have been consistent all season. How do you feel the team is progressing and how do you feel about getting the win today? Uh, the win is very important towards the team. It's a good three points. The coach said he wanted the three points today and we came out victorious. Talk to us about your position, how you play, because today you were all over the attacking third and you created stuff, you are making things happen, taking shots. What is your impact on the team like? Uh, the coach... The coach saw uh, what I did to see it myself. Uh, in the past few training sessions, he asked me to play forward. I'm not really a forward, but he asked me to play forward. And I didn't complain. I played forward and give him the job and get the job done. Well, I can see why he's a very good coach because you have been playing that position very well. But what are your aspirations like for the rest of the season? Uh, for the rest of the season, get more goals, get more wins, and try to stay in the league. Well, all the best with that, Shamara, and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Same to you. And you know, we'll be moving on to 